My name is Michael Duran. I'm a forensic psychiatrist. For me, it's a great job. Uh, and so I am a medical doctor, so I've gone to medical school uh, and I've completed training in psychiatry and particularly in forensic psychiatry. And what I do is I have the, really I, I find it the kind of deep privilege of talking with people about their lives um, and then trying to sort out uh, based on what I'm being told and what I'm observing uh, what do I need to do both in my talking but also with medications to help that person feel better and to get more stable. For a psychiatrist, your stethoscope in many ways is your mouth and your ears. It's the human interaction part of our job um, that creates the most healing. So you're using your what pe people are telling you uh, and your questions that you ask them to try to figure out what is the mental illness that I'm seeing and uh, an important part of that is not only what the patient is telling you but also what their history is. You also utilize things like labs so you may do blood work to make sure that things like their kidneys are working properly, their liver is okay, uh, you, it may involve doing like CAT scans or MRI scans uh, to make sure that there's not some tumor or other issue that could be causing the mental health problem that you're seeing. And once you've gathered all of that data, uh, you then think through what medication will be most helpful for this person. We function absolutely as teams, and, uh, and here's why that's really important. Uh, we have patients that are in the hospital 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and as the psychiatrist, the physician on the unit, I may only see the patient, you know, 20 minutes every week. And so you're really relying on your whole team to be observing and giving you information about how they're doing. And on a treatment team, there are various disciplines uh, like the psychologist, social worker, rec therapist, nurses. Uh, all of those individuals take progress notes, uh, work with patients maybe in groups or observe folks on the unit. Uh, and then all of that information is brought together in what's called a treatment team meeting, where you, it's basically just a meeting of everyone working with the patient, where you discuss what are you seeing, what am I seeing, uh, is it consistent across different uh, areas, and then based on all of those observations, you put that data together to formulate what, what you're seeing and then how to be of help. For me, there's a couple big challenges here. The first would be that there's really some pretty deep human drama here of folks that have had really tough goes in life uh, and have been in, under really tough circumstances. And listening to the stories uh, and trying to care about that person uh, can affect you and you, you have to figure out how do you how do you keep yourself healthy and present to be able to hear those stories, be empathetic, but also not to let it affect you negatively. A second big challenge is that uh, some of our folks um, can be aggressive and violent. And, uh, and as the physician on the unit, uh, oftentimes you feel responsible for the decision making of certainly medicines, but also safety precautions and, uh, and treatment. This is a really deeply rewarding job, and I, I would say for me, the most poignant remembrances or memories I have uh, of, of where, where I've just felt incredibly um, humbled, uh, de uh, delighted, um, happy uh, uh, for, for working here, uh, is when families get reunited. And it's, so it's not uncommon that we'll have someone that comes in from another state, for example, and they have been homeless, they've been traveling, uh, they end up in our system. And I get it, the privilege of being able to call their mom um, and say, you know, Miss Smith, 
uh, I just want to let you know Johnny's okay. And we, we have him and we're working with him. He's safe. And they, they're like, oh my God, we didn't even know if he was alive. Um, uh, and that, those experiences happen in this facility daily. Uh, there, there are miracles that happen here and it's, it's deeply rewarding work. Mm -hmm.